And I ordain this thing at me, that I should not come again in heaviness to you. For if I make you sorry, who is he that gladdeth me, but he that is sorrowful of me? And this same thing I wrote to you, that when I come, I have not sorrow on sorrow, of the which it behooved me to have joy. And I trust in you all, that my joy is of you all. For of much tribulation and anguish of heart, I wrote to you by many tears, not that ye be sorry, but that ye know what charity I have more plenteously in you. For if any man hath made me sorrowful, he hath not made me sorrowful but a part, that I charge not you all. This blaming that is made of many sufficeth to him that is such one, so that on the contrary ye rather forgive and comfort, lest peradventure he that is such a man or man be swallowed up by more great heaviness. For which thing I beseech you, that ye come, that ye confirm charity into him. For why therefore I wrote this, that I know your proof, whether in all things ye be obedient. For to whom ye have forgiven anything, also I have forgiven. For I, that that I forgave, if I forgave anything, have forgiven for you in the person of Christ, that we be not deceived of Satan, for we know his thoughts. But when I was come to Troas, for the gospel of Christ, and a door was opened to me in the Lord, I had not rest to my spirit, for I found not my brother Titus, but I said to them, Farewell, and I passed into Macedonia. And I do thankings to God, that evermore maketh, that evermore maketh us to have victory in Christ Jesus, and showeth by us the odor of his knowing in each place. For we be the good odor of Christ to God, among those that be made safe, and among those that perish, to others soothly, odor of death into death, but to others we be odor of life into life. And to these things, who is so able? For we be not as many that do adultery by the word of the God, but we speak of cleanness as of God before God in Christ.